Okay, so before moving on with the API and the generations and the streaming, etc., there's one last thing I want to do, and that is set up toasts. So I want to have the ability to be able to toastify these atoms such that we get the loading toast, we get the success toast, and then we have the error toast, all type safe. So preserving the error type annotations, the success type, everything. So for that, what I'm going to do is create a file here under the Atom directory called withtoast.cs. And here we're going to have a type, which is toast options, and we're going to take in A, which is the success channel, then E, which is the error channel, and finally the args, which are the arguments of the effect. So these ones right here. So with this, we can then have an unwaiting, which would be just a string, no need for a lazy argument. Then we have the unsuccess, which again gives us the result. And then we optionally can have the rest of the arguments and then on failure. And this will be modeled via an option of E. Now, why an option? Well, that's because in effect, you have defects and expected errors. But I would argue that if you're going to toastify anything, you really do not care about the defect per se. You only care about pattern matching against the expected errors and well simply and well simply having the option to know if you got a defect. So in that case, an option is perfect for this. And again, we have the rest of the arguments. Now with this, we can say export const with toast. And again, same generics. But here we're going to take in the options and we're going to pass in the generics. And finally, we're going to return a function that is going to give us the effect and it is going to give us the arguments. And we're going to see how this works in a moment. And now here we could either use an effect that gen or we can just use pipe for everything. But in this case, let's go with a generator. So it's easier to work with. And here we're going to have the toast ID, which is given by toast.loading. And here I'm using Sonar, but I'm pretty sure all toast libraries work in a very similar way. And here we can now say const result is equal to yield and then self.pipe. Though if we're in a generator, let's make everything imperative. So let's say exit of self. And then we can say, never mind. If we do this, we would have to propagate the error channel once again. So let's keep it simple by saying tap error cause. And then we get the cause here. And then I believe we need to return an effect here. And then we can say toast.error and then options dot on failure, we pass in the option using cause. So this is going to give us the first recoverable error and a none if it's a defect. We pass in the rest of the arguments and then we pass in the ID of the toast. So Sonar knows which toast to update. That way we do not get dangling toasts. And with this, we can now say toast.unsuccess because we know this is going to short circuit. So at this point, we have A and then we can say return result. Or if this reads somewhat confusing for you, you can just return here and then do a tap. And here you can say unsuccess instead. So now it's a bit more declarative. Now we can come here to style Satam and then say with toast. And then we can say on waiting, saving style. Though actually on second thought, you might want to have a creating style or updating style. So in that case, we can change this to be a function as well that takes in the arguments. And now we can come here and 
taking the payload and then say payload.id is present. If so, then we can have updating else creating style. And then on success, we can have a constant that is style saved. And then on failure, well, we can match against this. So we can say, for example, match error option. And then we can say on some and we get the types error here, otherwise unknown, unknown error. And as we can see here, well, this is narrowed down for us. Now, in this case, there is not really an error. I would say it's worthwhile extracting the message. So I'm going to refactor this to just have a constant fail to save style. Perfect. So now let's add the with toast here. So same thing, delete it. However, we can use constant here. But using constant in these cases seem a little bit annoying. So how about we introduce a union here? So either the function or a string. And same for these ones. And so we can check type of options that on waiting string then pass it as it is. Otherwise invoke the function and we can repeat the same logic for the other ones. And let's actually change this to be a function untraced and we can get rid of this generator. And OK, now it's looking much cleaner. So now we can come back here and get rid of the constant wrappers. And that's it. So now let's try it out. So for this, I added under the VS Code directory a tasks.json file. So now you can say run task and then you have this start workspace task. And so if I run it, it is going to automatically run the server and the client all in a Nix shell. So now if we come here and delete this style, we do not get a toast because I'm pretty sure we're missing the toaster component. So let's come here to the root and then let's say toaster. Save this and then come back. And the save changes. And as we can see, we get the toast here. So if I delete, same thing, we get the loading state and then the success state. OK, so this now wraps up the video. If you have any questions, feedback, do let me know. In the next video, I'll talk about the life cycle of Atoms and how it really works. Because there is one small foot gun that if you're not aware of it, it can lead to a really unexpected behavior. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.